But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And also, Luke 13 and verse 16 says, And and ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound, and these 18 years be loosed? Well, praise be to the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I'm going to continue on sharing brief insight regarding my spiritual beliefs. I'm going to continue to share only through the scriptures who Christ really came for and and who he died for. Okay, I hope that these brief videos gives you a biblical understanding of heritage and lineage, which is very important. If you have to be on a spiritual journey and you seek in truth, you need to reevaluate the scriptures again. <laughs> Because there's a lot of false manipulation coming out of this religious system, and it's disturbing to a lot of people. And a lot of people may not be aware of lineage because there are not any uh, icons when it comes to pictures to reflect African Americans when it comes to Hebrews in the Bible. <laughs> now, that's when you have to really stop take a deep breath and realize what I just said. African Americans can be found in the Bible. See? Matthew 15 verse 24 says, But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are a reflection of Israel. Yes, us African Americans. Don't be surprised if your local church or your pastors don't teach you or tell you this. It's true. <laughs> Believe me, it's true. <laughs> okay, so um, verse 16 says, and, and ought not this woman, being the daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound, and these 18 years be loose, the point that I've been making throughout all my videos is that Christ was only sent to Abraham's descendants, okay? Now, the tribe of Judah was right there at Jerusalem. If you go back and read the Old Testament, he said that he was going to leave one tribe of people to King David so that his light will always be shining right there in Jerusalem. Now, whether you choose to believe it or not, African Americans was the ones that were residing right there in Jerusalem during Christ's time. And we were chased out of that land in 70 AD by the Latin Roman soldiers. The empire, the Roman empire started killing us. And uh, the ones who were able to escape went and ran into West Africa. And that's how us Africans are here today. <laughs> a lot of history and a lot of manipulation, a lot of lies that our people have inherited throughout the century. Century. So now it's time to come out of the sleep and reevaluate the scriptures because a lot of prophecy is coming to pass. And, and I always say through all my videos, this book is very easy to understand if you don't take the scriptures out of their context. It wasn't talking to any of our modern day churches. It was only talking to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now here you have Christ getting ready to heal a woman, but the point that I'm bringing out, verse 16 says, and ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham. See, can you see that right there? <laughs> I'm laughing though, Joy, and also I'll, um, try to deserve my laugh when you hear me laugh because our churches whether the modern day church, they continue to manipulate these scriptures and they take a lot of it out of their context and make it appear as if this Bible is talking to us or them. And that's only because they don't like to teach about lineage. They don't want to teach the truth. They just want to just pick and choose what scriptures they want. And a lot of people don't catch on. They don't. I mean, that's only because they don't want to teach about lineage. <laughs> they just want to leave things the way that they are. And the things that, that 
the way that they are is just a lot of lies. That's all it is. <laughs> it's not truth. The people that's residing over there in Israel now are not the real biblical Jews. They're not. If you go back and read their heritage, you're going to realize that they're not even from the seed of Abraham. And they even make it known. <laughs> So you need to go back and reevaluate the scriptures. Now, this is only referring to people that happen to be on the spiritual journey. And like I said, I'm not going to say that all the churches here are teaching false doctrine when it comes to this book, just to reflect culture. That's that, that wouldn't be fair to say. But from my experience, there have been a lot of false manipulation coming out of the teachings that I was under. And now that I'm reevaluating the scriptures for myself, I'm starting to see that this book is talking to me because I happen to be the offspring of the tribe of Judah, okay? And from the seed of Abraham. And like I said, you can claim the heritage and promises if you want to out of ignorance, but when it really comes down to it, Christ is going to one who, he's going to be one that's going to do the separation, separation and he's doing it now. A lot of people are waking up and they're understanding Lineage is very important when it comes to this Hebrew book. You can't claim someone else's inheritance. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. Okay. Right there. See? Being a daughter of Abraham. Right there. That's who Christ came for. He came to save the uh, seed, the scattered broad seed of Abraham's people. And when you hear the word scatter or lost in any of these verses through the apostles writing, it's only referring to those, those regions. They were just spread abroad the regions of Galilee, Jerusalem, the city of David, Bethlehem, Judea. Those are locations. It's just spread abroad those regions. So we read Christ's stories through the apostles' writings, you're going to realize that he only evangelized through those regions. He did not take his ministry or the message, the gospel that he was presenting to the world as this religious system continues to teach. He was only taking it to Matthews 15 and verse 24 and I'll show it to you see I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel see very important for you to understand Matthews 15 and verse 24 but he answered and said I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel it doesn't get any more plainer than this <laughs> do the research 